Can you all hear us or hear me now? We are back. I'm glad you guys are back and talking about your trip. I have so many questions. We have so many answers, hopefully. We'll see. Ashley's getting ready. <clears throat> she got a couple props that we picked up during the, uh, actually, this was at the start of the trip. <laughs> and Nellie wants to be, uh, they're home with us too, so she wants to be part of the show. Say hi, Nell. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and down she goes. <laughs> so, hope, hey, Robert, hey, Eva, Travis is here. Gar, Leonard, Joy, Cynthia, Chris. I said Travis, right? Ethan, hopefully everybody's had a good week. We have had a very tiring week. Right? Start with UK. Like, I don't even, I don't even know where to start. Yeah, it's uh, jet lag and everything. I didn't sleep at all from the time we got on the plane yesterday. Well, I didn't sleep from the time we woke up yesterday, right? Yesterday morning until around 10 today. Mm -hmm. We said we're going to take a two-hour nap. Four and a half hours later, we're awake. <laughs> and uh, D&G have a safe drive home. They dropped Jim and Chris off at the airport. <clears throat> All one family's here. We got to meet them. That was awesome. There's hey, them. Lindsay. Oh, I love meeting Donnie, them. They were amazing. And uh, Yort and Susan. Oh, Mr. Star is here. Mr. Star is here. Hopefully, everybody is having a good time or is having a good weekend. And... Hopefully everybody that got their previews for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge in Orlando got them because we experienced it in Disneyland and it was awesome. It was amazing. It was awesome. So I kept awesome. like looking up uh, like there was a like a plane flying over, a spaceship yeah. <clears throat> flying over. Just to get off topic, hey Holly and Robert, just to get off topic a little, we went, did one of the, uh, at D23, one of the... Uh, panels we went to was the sounds of galaxy edge and the music there's almost 3,000 sounds that make up that area which is it's amazing it's, it's pretty cool to see yeah it was very amazing and um and the ogas cantina they had the band there that that played for dj rex which was very interesting because it's not really songs that we would know it's just kind of music i accidentally took one it accidentally fell in Ashley's backpack, and she didn't know it. I didn't know it. But that's a that's a menu, from and they're pretty strict with these. They they grab them from you, I guess, because they uh, after they opened, they made them onto eBay. It's a pretty good menu, but the most expensive item on it's seventy five dollars for four four little beers. Yeah, right there. it's a it's a two maximum drink. Forty five minutes, and you only have forty five minutes for the experience. Yeah. Oh, we did do the. Ethan's asking uh, or said something about fireworks from Galaxy's Edge. That was amazing. It was amazing. It would have been perfect if they had music, like Star Wars music. Yeah. But what was funny, right before it went off, there was a balloon, and Ashley's like, oh, somebody lost their balloon. I know. So and sad. we found out later that, hey, Marcel <clears throat> and Kid Dalt TV, that they let the balloon off to see the wind, whether the fireworks are going to go or not. We didn't know that. And the last time we saw the fireworks, they let it off like mid show, which was weird because Matthew yeah. pointed it out. Which was cool going our first couple, our, well, this week going with cast members and people that go all the time. We learned a lot. It's because in Disneyland, What's up, Jeff? it's in the city, so they have to be more conscious of when they can do the fireworks. Yeah. But it was it was amazing. It was amazing. And it, as you can probably tell just by looking at us, we're still tired. <laughs> so tired. So tired. So tired. Uh, the first, when we left, everybody, if you know, we went to Mickey's Not So Scary. That would be the first props that we have for you. We went there, came home, basically took a shower, packed the car, went back to the airport. You barely slept on a plane. I didn't sleep on a plane. We didn't know what we were going to do the first day. Like, are we going to go to, hey, Amy, if we're going to go to uh, Knott's Berry or hang out or what. And then we met some great other people that uh, D&G introduced us to, Matthew and Lauren. And then we ended up going to the parks till what? Till we, we closed it? Mm-hmm. So by the time we got to sleep, it was after one o'clock on Saturday. So I was up. I was. Uh, I had gone forty-three hours without sleep. You had maybe gone forty-one because you got a little bit of a nap. But mm -hmm. and then uh, I thought I would sleep good. No. The so, best sleep I got was this afternoon in in our own bed. <laughs> so maybe we should start like 
with the beginning real quick. I'm not working tomorrow. I have doctor's appointments. I am. I am working. <laughs> I got a little. Um, move your butt. We'll start with um, Mickey's Not So Scary. Yeah, Mickey, we're going to start with Mickey's Not So Scary because uh, we did go live from there. Hopefully you, you caught that, and it was awesome. It was amazing. It felt a little too rushed because we knew we were what we were doing the next day, and we were trying to get everything done, and it was a little disorganized for the first night. Which is we got So we waited in four lines for these? Because uh, you couldn't get anything in the same line. Boom. This is the, which one is this? That is. He does something. Does he it light up? Just, or makes noise? I don't know. I might don't need know. batteries. You gotta put them on. Damn. Do you know which way they go? I don't know what about putting them together. I just, so I just know this is the popcorn bucket. One of them is the sipper. This is the sipper right here. Oh, he's a sipper. He's a sipper. Comes out of his head. Oh, yeah, cut it. Oh, we'll get it. Copyrighted. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> we every live stream we did this weekend that was copyrighted. So this is a sipper. Would he pull his head off to fill it up? Yeah, right there. Well, I don't know how you would fill it up. Yeah, that's a sipper right there. But the way they did it, this one's Ezra, right? Is they had them at three individual different locations, and you had to like run all over the place trying to find out where they were. Yeah, so that was and crazy. They, what they, they call this guy a. Uh, He's like a candy, so it's like something you're supposed to be able to take. See how it opens up. Yeah, take to the movies. Yeah, and this one is it, it's kind of cool because it pops open like this in the back, and that's what holds your popcorn bucket. But the main thing we waited in line for was a new Mickey balloon bucket. I think the cheapest out of they were they're uh, they're all eighteen dollars except for this guy was fifteen ninety nine. I'm still a little off with the uh, stream stream yards being flipped. Yeah. But yeah, he's pretty cool. So. But Mickey's not so scary was amazing. Um, as far as the fireworks show, you you liked it. You loved it. You thought I liked it, was it because of the projections. I was like, I think I have to see it again to make a judgment because I like the old show. But in, in I don't know if it's your defense or just saying for you, you watched it through the camera. I was filming it, so I really didn't get to see a good view of did it. I, did I live stream that too? Yes. I think I live streamed it, but I just held it off and watched like kind of the corner of my eyes because the, the, the projections on the castle were amazing. Um, as far as the first night, I'm sure it's gotten better. A lot of the candy stations didn't have candy. Yeah. They were just like, sorry, we were then, waiting uh, for it. Yeah, and then when they started running out, they started getting like one piece. Right. One piece. One and a piece. lot of the candy stations only had like one stop, mm -hmm. where last year they, a couple of them had two. So. And um, then for the Country Bear Jamboree, for whatever reason, they moved it, which was weird. Yeah, I don't know. They moved it out of the easy area. So, I mean, so they'll, they just, they'll probably they just got to work it. it out. Yeah. So, I mean, for sure we're going back again because my mom, we're going to go with my mom. Um, I don't know if we're going to go to Barry and Mary. Mr. Yeah. We don't, asking. We've never been yet because in our mind, we like Halloween better mm -hmm. for the, the event but we itself. Love Christmas too. And we can go to almost two Halloween events for one Christmas event for right. the price of it. So, right. um, so hey, asking, Catherine. did we try the pastry? We tried the, um, mm -hmm. So oh, yeah, there were, do there were donuts. Travis there. said the new fireworks show is awesome. Bob's right. <laughs> Projections are. Of course, Travis would agree with you. Hey, Sawyer in the middle. <laughs> I thought it, it was, the music's not as iconic it. because how, cause how it wishes. I just have to see it again. Yeah, I can't I can't recall any of the songs, right. but the projections were. The projections were yeah. amazing. <clears throat> I will have to give you that. Just the music, I don't know if it was catchy or not. I just have to see we it We just again. got back this morning, Christy, at... We we landed at 6.15 this morning. Took off last night at 10.45. Right. Um, we didn't hear about the 2.99 pass until we were actually yeah. there. So I don't know if we could upgrade or not. But we wouldn't be able to go. I mean, it's still a great deal. So if, if you went at the price, you'd have to go, what, three? You'd have to go five times to make it worth it. Which I think is a really amazing deal. If you're local and you can do it, I would do it. I don't know how, isn't Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party in the hundreds? 
I think so. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. Because uh, the uh, Halloween parties around, I think we paid 74. 79, yeah, 79. 70, 70 to 79, somewhere in there. It went up $5 from last year because last year I think we did get it for like 60, 69. And then it went up 74. Ethan's asking, did the actual fireworks <clears throat> show make Ashley Carr? Are you talking about the Mickey's Not So Scary? No. Because that didn't. Um, <clears throat> Disneyland. Disneyland. Yes. I made it halfway down the street to like the Gibson girls. And I don't know why the ice cream parlor, I just turned and looked. Travis said they'll credit the pass. Oh, okay. I just turned and looked and I started crying. I just was got <sighs> so emotional. When we first walked in? I thought it was the penny press that you got him. <laughs> the penny press? Yeah, I was kidding. No, <clears throat> it was just like, I don't know. I just was so emotional. But during the fireworks at Disneyland. During the fireworks at Disneyland? There's a scene, and which is really neat. If you saw, we I think we live streamed it one night too. The, last, the other night. <clears throat> they, pro they project on the buildings on Main Street, which is really cool. And they show a bunch of orange trees. And they're like 60 years ago. Or, and then Walt starts talking. Yeah, it was when Walt started talking. And like I was just like... He was there. It was just so emotional. What she says down now. Someone went recently and they said it was down now. I'm not sure. But they are coming. They we did see uh, D23. There is going to be a new Disneyland parade. Mm -hmm. Disney something magic. Disney magic or something like that for a daytime parade at Disneyland. 2020. <clears throat> yeah. You're just like all over the place. So I have somebody asked a question. Okay. Tickets for October 29th. Oh, they, they do. Yeah, they get over hundred dollars. They do get more expensive in October. Because if you go uh, the 31st, I think it's 130, and if you go the 30 31st is 135, and the 30th is 130. So yeah, they do get more expensive. Yeah, so we're in the middle of it. Crossed me an hour this year. I, isn't he in? Isn't he? Are you in? Uh, so you're in the middle. Isn't? Are you in Disneyland right now? D23. Are they? I think he is. Yeah, I think he is. We saw so many people there. I know. We're still, we're getting ahead of ourselves. We're all over the place. So, G20, or... Like, he's not so scary. Was, was, was amazing. Fantastic. Yes. We didn't get to see the whole park, so that's why we're going back. And I'm, we're going to look into seeing maybe if we can get that um, deal. I'll have to call him and see. The it's pass. That, now, Susie's talking about <clears throat> the character warehouse stuff. Oh. We heard yeah. about that the other day. and we. Yeah, people are messaging us. And they said you can't film there, and now they're saying you can. So we don't know. We'll go later see, this week on yes. our normal night, and if we can, we can. If we can't, we'll just we'll, check it out and yep. see. We won't know till we go. Rumors were it was because of one one personal shopper, personal shopper that doesn't use doesn't you, do YouTube, doesn't do YouTube, and marks um, their stuff up like that crazy. marks their stuff up. So people were realizing when they watched it on YouTube, like, hey, why is why are you, why is this stuff so expensive? Well, that too, and there was get because of YouTube, more people are going, and she's not able to go in there and get all those hot items, right? Buy, buy them all because if you do go to the character warehouse and you do see somebody with twenty five items, you can ask a cast member, and they will limit their items, and you can get some of those. Yeah. So like, if you walk in and they have a special on ears for three ninety nine, and you see one person grab them all, go to a cast member, say you'd like one of those too. They will take them from limit that person to i think 10. so sure if they have 40 or 50 that's too many so that's just a rumor we're not really sure like yeah oh he's in north carolina i'm sorry i thought he was at disneyland maybe i'm thinking of somebody else <laughs> so many people so. so many people um so we just heard out we're not sure if it's exactly true or not but we'll go and check it out and see and we'll let you know if it is then you know i don't know if it'd be as fun to go in and take pictures and voiceover. I don't think it'd be fun at all. You know, I'm sure that will help the people who shop <clears throat> and the shoppers and the people buying it, but I am not very good at voiceover. No. So let's just get back to our, let's kind of all right, go so on we leave. Trip. We leave Mickey's not so scary. <clears throat> we left after we finally got out at what? 1230 ish. We got home one thirty between you know, we because we had to stop and eat at one forty. So we got home about two o'clock. Jumped in the shower, finished packing, and then straight. Yes, we did straight, take showers. <clears throat> straight to the airport. These are made by. Um, I don't think she. I don't think she's Christine? on here. No, these were um, for Love of the Mouse. Oh, for Love of the Mouse. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if they're here. Yeah, I think What's they. That one? They have a family dinner. Mallory. 
Yeah. Ethan said there would be a little bit tall um, cast member. What's that? That there's a limit on their amount that they can get. They're allowed to? No, he's saying he would, I'd love to be that cast member. Oh, you had to tell him? Yeah. Well, you know, the same thing about that. This one, this is the one shirt that I had to get. Somebody else on here might have it too. I think Travis has the same <laughs> shirt. I think the one in Florida that says Disney World is spread out a little bit more with the colors. I think so. But I, I, I kind of like this one with the uh, the uh, fluorescent green and these colors. I don't know if it shows as, as bright as it is on there, but I like it. So I think we should just jump right into it. We've had a lot of people ask us what are our thoughts <clears throat> on Disneyland and Disney World, which is better, and you can't compare them. No. That's what you we can't compare them. In an overall compare sense, you can say. Some of the rides. Yeah. But they're two different parks. They two have different experiences. Two different experience. <laughs> you actually wore it today. <laughs> Travis, you're awesome. Um, they're just yeah. two different experiences. And I was pleasantly su surprised at Disneyland. Yeah. every Everything I had heard. You're not going to like it. It's small. The rides are this, right? Rides are that. And I can honestly, Lily, you okay? You don't like that popcorn bucket, huh? The only thing I can honestly say out of the whole thing I didn't like, maybe, was the fast pass system. That's it. I mean, it was okay. It was okay. I'm just talking about the park in yeah, general. In general. In general. You're just making a nasty face, like, dang. I don't know. Well, that, and there, there are a lot more stairs at Disneyland. Because you have to go up and down in a lot of different areas. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, it was it was a rough week. Mm -hmm. But it was pretty amazing. So we get there, and Derek and Greg, who are driving back right now, they may be on here. They may be in and out of signal because they've had a long. Hopefully, you're not too. driving. They picked us up from the airport. Driving and texting. Yes, that was amazing. They were awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was so cute. Um, when we came down the escalator, they had a little sign that said Bob and Ashley. Dilly so dilly. dilly dilly. And it was just, that was the first time we've actually met them in person. And it was just, it just felt like we've known them <laughs> for a really long time. Yeah. It just felt like. And then who, who we've met online and through their show, Matthew and Lauren, who are cast members, were awesome. Because we didn't know what we were going to do the first day. We were going back and forth. Should we drive over to the coast? Should we see the Queen Mary? Should we go to Knott's Berry? Should we do this? Should we do that? And they're like, you're going to the parks. And it feels so weird when you go in. Like, you feel like, we felt like we know where we knew where stuff should have been, but it wasn't. So it was just like, so weird. Like Still here. Big Little Explorer texting and Big Explorer driving. <laughs> So Greg is driving and Derek is texting. Yes. But it was just. No character warehouse? No. we're. Yeah, unfortunately, no. We did not make They it. don't have a character warehouse in California. No. And honestly, even if we tried to, we didn't have time. Today? Yeah. No. We didn't have time the whole week. No. Because, you know, we're always like, we're going on vacation. We're going to go back to the room. We'll rest midday and all. No, didn't we happen. didn't really rest at all. One day, I think. That was it. And that was when we hit the finally hit the wall because of lack of sleep. I did some. I did some. Uh, the cough. <clears throat> the cough came back when we got back. I did actually. I had it uh, a little bit there, and then the last couple of days it pretty much went away. I really think the it's, second we got back off the plane, I got it. I think it's allergies. So really, it's, it's something here. I'm going to have a uh, was that intolerance test, whatever it is to see. Hopefully that'll help. Hey, Disney boffins. Can you say that's late there because they're in they're in UK? Yeah, I I know. Is it all was, in one family all the way back in the Netherlands? I know now? they left. Wow, so there it's late there too. They left before us. Yeah, that's right. So see, that was another amazing thing that um, we saw so many people. It was just the the funniest thing is, and I and I loved it, and I wish we would have met more people like that. They'll walk by and go, "We love your videos." And then they just keep walking. That actually makes our day more yeah. than anything. But all in one family, they are amazing. One twenty-two a.m. There. Oh wow. Yeah, we are we're tired. So, we, are tired. <laughs> we are tired. I bet they're tired too. Um, but we got to sit down and talk to them, and that's what that's what makes Disney so special. This community so special is when you can sit down and just talk Disney with people that you've never met before in person. Lil, stop, Lil. 
I'm, uh, you can keep talking. You interrupt me. Go oh, I'm ahead. sorry. They have been up for over. We were, yeah, we were up for over 24 hours before a little four-hour nap this morning, but it's nowhere near catching up to what we need. No, I could probably go to sleep right now and sleep through the night. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it's probably the worst week of sleep for me that I've had. And I, I don't know what it was, but the four hours in our bed, my my leg and back weren't hurting anymore. It my as some of you guys know with my the disc problems and, and nerve problems in my back that my back and my leg would be hurt the whole time. Until we got home, like at night resting, never went away. But at home, four hours, it, it was gone. So it was nice. He's always interrupting me. I'm always yeah, I'm sorry. He interrupts everybody, it's not just me. Yeah, ask everybody we hung out with this week and they'll say it. I know, I felt like I should apologize to everybody. Oh, that's awesome, Mr. Fulton. Yeah. It's his uh, 20th anniversary on his oh, radio show. That's awesome. And we did see, uh, which is kind of cool, you saw at the Millennium Falcon, you saw somebody get engaged. We saw actually two, two engagement, engagements, one right there in front of that in Star Wars Land. Oh, I didn't see that because I was I didn't want to bend down and look under. You couldn't see. And then one in front of the castle. That was that was cool. That was cool. So then we were all debating, should we do the same thing and then have <laughs> Ashley say he no? Wanted, he wanted to do he wanted to do a fake engagement. And me say like no and like storm off and, and then I'll just <laughs> cry and pound the ground. No. But they wouldn't nobody was with me on that one. No. Well, I'm sure Greg and all them would have filmed it. Disney engagement gone bad, two million views. Until no. people realize who you are. We don't drink coffee, Junior. So that's that makes it even harder. Oh, Catherine, they're gonna be married <clears throat> thirty three years Tuesday. <clears throat> that's awesome too. That's amazing. What did Marcel say? How was the food? That the food was awesome. The food was awesome. I was trying to think was there really any, surprised how good the food was. Anything bad that we had to eat, and there was nothing. No, there was nothing bad at all. It's different food. Um, mm -hmm. They have more options that I think than just like hamburgers and chicken nuggets than oh, Dis yeah. Disney World has. But the Plaza Inn chicken was probably the best fried chicken. As well, Walt's fried chicken mm -hmm. was probably the best. Fried chicken, I'll put it up there in the top two because I, I can't, I don't know what else to compare with. It was that good. It was, it was, it was good. really good. And the, uh, and we went to, we kept calling it the Holly Jolly. <laughs> it was the Jolly Holiday. And I, I don't know in the and, vlogs if we call it the Holly Jolly or the Jolly Holly. And Juan corrected us and he told us, you know, like Mary Poppins song. And I was like, that makes so much, so much sense, more sense. sense now. <laughs> but that actually was very good. And, I give I I got to give a lot of credit to everybody who does these week long vacations, because it is so hard to eat right. Yes. Like one morning, one day we started with D twenty our first day D twenty three. We ate pretzels for breakfast, and then uh, what 14, 15 hours later we were eating pre pretzel nuggets for dinner. I don't even think we had lunch that day. Anyway, we didn't have lunch. Hey Don. One day we had. Um, yeah, Jolly Holly. Jolly Holiday was great. Yeah. Hi Don. Um, we had. Um, Macaroni and cheese in the cone. We'll be there, genies. Pretzel cone for breakfast one day from the cozy cone. The bacon mac and cheese. That was probably one of my favorite breakfasts. No, we had breakfast at Flo's too, remember? Yeah, Flo's with that. Yeah, that was really good too. And we had breakfast at Goofy's too. I could sit in Cars Land all day long. Yeah, it, it really takes you away. Just the music, <clears throat> the theming. Theming there is It creates incredible. such a story. <clears throat> I think we're back all the way to Saturday, our first day there, though. I don't know. Where it's, it's when you have a week like that that has Disneyland, Disney California Adventure, and D23 mixed in with it, you're just. Was there one ride that you were just like, I don't need to go on that again? Uh, yeah, it was the one we, Matterhorn. Oh. The yeah. Matterhorn. I know people, hey, Julie, uh, and Josephine. Did you get to try to, we No, did we didn't eat the Monte Cristo because for me, and we did, he, did, should we tell them what we heard about that or no? You can well, tell them. It comes frozen and all they do is fry it. So when we heard that, I was like, I've, I've eaten a lot of Monte Cristos before, but with uh, with the health stuff and being a diabetic and stuff, I didn't go there. We had some amazing beignets there. We had some beignets at Cafe And Orleans. I kept calling them baguettes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ask for the baguettes too? I think, and I, might, right? I, thought I, I think I might have ordered baguettes. Baguettes. That was funny. <laughs> Hi, Mickey Bunch. But, but we had seen on Magic Journeys that they had, hey, Talia, that they had went for the Mickey, 
the chicken and beignets. That's what we went there for. Don't but it was only a Mardi Gras special. Yeah. And we and they didn't so have any sad. chicken to go with it. We did try that day. We did try the gumbo and the uh, shrimp and grits. Gumbo was amazing. Shrimp and grits were okay. Tasted like our chicken uh, with our chicken buffalo dip that we do. But see, there Without there's the a lot of amazing restaurants that you can choose from. I mean, yeah, there were some really good restaurants. <clears throat> like little things, like we didn't. The one thing that I wanted to try that I never tried, and I hope Chris did because Chris wanted to try it when he got there too, was the corn dogs. I did not try oh, corn dogs. I'm not a I was because we ate here, ate there, and had this and had that, and I was always full. Yeah, all in family had it too, and the mint julep. The that mint julep, our, I really liked. That was our first time trying a mint julep. She tried it and she was chewing spearmint gum, right? Yeah, I was like, mm. and she tasted it and she's like, it's lemonade, and I and I I didn't have any, and I tasted, it. I was like, it's like it's like drinking spearmint gum. Yeah, and even even the one girl at uh, the Jazz Kitchen Express, she's like, that's the best way to describe it. Like you're drinking. Theirs was real. Theirs looked like your shirt. It was so green, yeah. but it was good. Oh, the lobster nachos at Lamplight. So those were, were really good. Fantastic. Those were really good, and they have a big bakery there. Um, <laughs> it was our dinner one night? Yeah, we ate our, the Mickey bread. Um, if you saw it on our Instagram <laughs> story, she posted a, a. It's like this, what this big? Yes, yeah, like face. the ears. It's Mickey's head, perfect face of bread, and we're like. Let's that just was, get some. We stopped at Wetzel Pretzel. We got our, some pizza sauce and cheese sauce. That, and that was our, our dinner. That was our dinner. We actually, not one churro, Julie. Julia. I know. I, we're not big churro eaters. Chris had a corn dog today. I knew he was going to get one. Oh, did he? Yeah. I like corn dogs. So, I like okay. corn dogs. Love a mint julep. Yeah, they were. I, I was pleasantly pleasantly surprised with the mint julep. So I could drink those all the time. But I'm I'm a big lemonade person too. So the you call it the Batterhorn is the ride that you you could do without. <clears throat> Well, for me, it just it hurt. That was the only ride that actually hurt me. Mine was um, the Mickey Fun Wheel because no, we no. did we did the moving one, and only because I was going backwards and it made me feel nauseous. If we would have done the stationary ones, I might oh, yeah, that, I might have enjoyed. Plus, it. if you do the stationary one, you have it looks like a thirty foot better view. But I just wanted to try the ones yeah. that moved because they looked fun. But it really doesn't. Feel like you're moving that much when you're in there. If you've seen it, I think you put it on Instagram. There was a guy in there screaming. In <laughs> he was screaming. The, he didn't the, like it. The Matterhorn is like a classic ride. I nicknamed it the Batterhorn the rest we'll, of the time we were there. We'll just say that. Yeah, that's classic. I, I it reminds me of uh, Space Mountain if it wasn't in the dark. Let's talk about Space Mountain. Our hyperspace. Uh, hyperspace Mountain was is. The best amazing and at first you're like because it's you're sitting just like side by side and you're going up and it's like put it in the light speed and all the lights come on like you're going to light speed like you feel like you're but gonna, you go no faster you feel like you're gonna blast off and i was like oh, and you're moving okay. then he comes, you, you crest the hill and you're like all right here we go no it's really slow and I, you don't hear it, it doesn't do anything until you hear it's a trap Evasive maneuvers, and then it goes into and it a great takes ride. you off, and it's all Star Wars overlay theme. It was amazing. Yeah. Thank you, Linda. <clears throat> Swinging yeah. gondolas. What they call that? Uh, fun wheel. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. It was. It was amazing. Hey, I don't know if I said hey, to Amy. <clears throat> and credit coaster was. Was good. Was cool. I didn't smell the cookies the first time. You just have to really hold your head. Well, you don't have this problem. But I have earrings, and it was like jabbing me because you your head you gotta hold your head really still. Well, most coasters. But you it's should, actually a pretty smooth coaster. On most coasters, you should either hold your head back or against one side and try to keep it there. Otherwise, you, it's that's why they had the pads there because you're gonna batter. Right. Batter horn. But Fantasyland <coughs> was yep, probably Fantasyland was probably one of my favorite lands. Fantasyland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we got to do Mr. Toads again for the first time in, I don't know when it left Disney World, but that was the last time we did it. Yeah. Oh, and it, to be it was the time. most comfortable seat in the whole park. <laughs> Mr. Toads. Mr. Toads was the most comfortable So ride. they have a Pinocchio ride that we, we've never had. Pinocchio's um, Daring Journey. Yep. They had Snow White. Yep. They had Peter Pan. It was a little different than our Peter Pan. And they had Alice, which I really loved. Yep. That we've. Never had. Storybook Land. 
storybook land, there was just always these cute Casey's Jr. quaint little rides that were just so cute. Small and, World was yeah. I you know how you guys know how I feel about Small World here. We wrote it just for Susie. Uh, and we wrote it again and I didn't have a problem with it because the song seems a little different and they have actual dog snoring. Actual <laughs> characters inside which is kind of cool to look for yeah. especially because they're all like kid characters of woody of jesse of alice thank you so much for stopping by <coughs> i want him he's got to go yeah it's you guys are late Have it a, was so nice meeting, nice meeting you guys. guys they had an awesome trip too just yes we did vlog it Susie, just for you yeah we got we pretty much <laughs> vlog the only time we didn't vlog anything is when you're hanging out and you forget to vlog stuff right or if i went live we might not, not have vlogged anything. No, Travis said it's hard to <clears throat> stabilize yourself if you're um, filming it. Yeah. Like most of our pictures, when you get from the ride, we have Bob's camera in the yeah. picture. Or like I noticed uh, when we were doing, I was trying to do this, wherever it is, here it is. I was trying to do this as I was piloting the Falcon. So some, it might be like this, it might be like that, and someone will cut it. Yeah. That was awesome. So Fan of the Ceiling was amazing. Um, <clears throat> they have Indiana Jones, which everybody was just like, it's just like the dinosaur Don't say ride. it's the same as the dinosaur ride. It's it may be the same. same track. It may be the same exact vehicle Concept. path. But there's nothing like it whatsoever. It, it was fun. Yeah, but you can't compare that ride to Dinosaur and go, mm -hmm. oh, I remember turning this way or that. Because you can't. Because Dinosaur is completely in the dark. This is lit up. It's cool. You know, and it looks like you're driving on a flat road. So I don't know why it was so crazy. <laughs> I was like, I can see the road. It's flat. Why are you doing this? It was, a lot. It, was, it was It was fun. fun. It was, And what was kind of really cool about it is, well, it's not really cool. The line to get to it, the queue, is like a quarter mile long. It's like five miles long. Because you have to go between Pirates and Jungle Cruise. So the queue goes right in between both of them back to the ride. Yeah. So it's like that, that ride is actually like walking from Frontierland to fantasy land <laughs> it was so long but it was awesome yeah and uh, yeah i could I, I couldn't see any similarities in the track either could you so i'm gonna get to my two favorite ones my two favorite rides there what what do you think they are they were i think it's mission breakout no we're talking about disneyland oh pirates and haunted mansion yep they're side by side two of my favorites Pirates, we, we must have went on that at least six times. And we walked on it so many times. It's amazing. And I did say earlier the fast pass system. If you work the fast pass system there and you you look at the wait times and you see what's the longest wait time and grab that for a fast pass and you can you can work it pretty good. Would if we went, <clears throat> would we get the um max pass again? Yes. Probably. It actually does save you it comes time. Comes with your photos too. Comes with your photos. But it saves you from having to walk all the way over to the ride. If you see it, you can grab it. Well, a good thing, too, is if you're going to the parks and you're doing Goofy's Kitchen that day, get the Max Pass just for the photos from Goofy's Kitchen because they're $37. Mm -hmm. So that, that just that $15 price for that pays for all your photos, your, your Fast Passes, and it pays for the photos. that Like if you're right. doing a character breakfast, not just Goofy's Kitchen. If you do any character breakfast that has uh, Photo Pass in it. And one thing we did notice that – we heard there wasn't a lot of there was a lot of photo pass people yeah we never had a problem finding a photo pass person yeah if we saw them we stopped and took a picture exactly so pirates is so much longer tally is asking what's the difference we'll get to the differences on haunted mansion and pirates pirates yeah. is just pirates is uh there's like this whole scene before you get to where our ride starts no, there's not a whole scene there's whole scenes right yeah i mean yeah, it's just scenes. like scenes because you go through the blue bayou area first yeah. which doesn't even feel like you're on a haunted mansion ride kind of feel i mean pirates it feels like you're on the three caballeros more than anything true and then you go into it and then there's two drops there's two drops and they're not small drops and you get wet we got soaked. We got soaked. Like when they say you will, you may get wet on Pirates over there, you will get wet. Oh, they miss us. We miss oh. you guys too. D and G. We'll see you again real soon. I'm surprised you're not tired of Bob. They might be tired of me. I think you even said to him something like, we're still talking after a week. <laughs> I'm sorry for Bob. <laughs> um, yeah, she kept apologizing for me. 
I just, it was probably, that was probably one of my favorite rides at Disneyland. And it's, uh, I would say it's twice as long. Yeah. It's twice as long as our Pirates ride, without a doubt. Maybe just the history of it, too. That we had seen in just a show recently about how Walt, like, really, mm -hmm. that was, like, one of his rides. The only thing I can say, for in my opinion, their Johnny Depp, Captain Jack character, doesn't look anything like him compared to ours. Right. Like, as bad as they say the Trump looks in uh, the pre Hall of Presidents, that's as bad as their their Captain Jack look. I thought he was okay. He was okay, but he, he looked like somebody trying to play Captain Jack. Uh -huh. He's okay. But that was the only the only thing that was, I would say, okay about it. But the big surprise is the end, because you had the two big drops where we, we have one big drop, mm -hmm. kind of. And then you have a big raise that rises you back to up. To bring you back up. And then you, uh, <clears throat> when you're you're getting in the queue to the ride, you see the end of the ride, which is crazy. Yeah. That's a big difference too over there. All almost all the rides, you're either outside or like Big Thunder. The queue is outside. Right. Which you, there's no way you can do it in Florida. Right. And so Haunted Mansion. <clears throat> Haunted Mansion was awesome. I didn't know actually till right before we went in that you told me. In the Haunted Mansion there, it's actual elevator. You're the actually lowering. lowering down in the stretching room. And if you're on, if you're in a wheelchair or a scooter, when you leave, you actually go back into the stretching room and it lifts you back up. That's yeah. how you get out. But it's not, it was cool because they had a hat box ghost. So that was really cool. Um, when you go in, where you take the picture on our, our, our picture on our ride where the photos light up, that's part of the queue. And so are the so is the uh, the bus that look at you from any angle from the uh, the haunted library. That's part of their queue. Yeah, too. and um, it's not as long as ours. It's not. Uh, we found some neat history. I think it was Derek that told us. With a guy who. Sh there was a guy that was trying in the eighties that was trying to duel with, one of the ghosts with the ghosts with, with a, a real gu gun with a real gun and shot into the ride. It broke the the glass broke the glass and you can still see it where they just put like a spider over it so that was pretty interesting because that's a big glass yeah it's probably pretty expensive to yeah but just luckily nobody was hurt yeah. no stupidity like that but but i loved it it was still i mean it's one of my favorite rides anyways yeah we did that five or six times too right. yeah easily yeah um splash easily. mountain splash mountain we did once just because you got, I got so you really get wet on that. We were more aware. We did uh, one day. We we're going okay. We're gonna do all the water rides. We wore clothes, so if they got wet, we didn't care. They dried easy. Yada yada. Splash Mountains first, and we're gonna walk over to and DCA. And that ride was cold. Could I put flip flops on? That water was on? so cold. It was so cold on my feet. But yeah. I'm on. We're on the ride, and all of a sudden, it was like a wave. A wave went over a little girl on the front, and I was like, oh. but then it came down the whole side, and it just it was like. This side of me was completely wet. Yeah. It was fun, though. Oh, it was fun. It, it was different, too. It's kind of different. Thunder Mountain was pretty close to the same. It just had the um, dynamite in there. Which was cool. That had a lot. Of, it seemed like it had a lot more trees in the ride. Like, yeah. natural trees just in the ride. Yeah. What? When we first rode it, it was at nighttime. We didn't see that. Next time was during the day. And you could see all the trees. I was like, oh, that's... And we saw the goat. Because you turn our goat... You turn to the left. That's when you turn back to the right, and they, you know, it goes through the one area that shoots out the water too. So it was cool, and it has a little town at the end. That was awesome. But let's get back to the wet part because when we went over to Grizzly's River Run, they said you're going to get soaked on it. You didn't even get wet, did you? I didn't get wet. So there was two empty seats. Well, no, there was a seat, and there was an empty seat. And I was like, hey, you should move over to the other seat. That was by the door. It was back in the 80s, Disney Nerd Herders. It was by the door. So Bob moved, and he thought I was going to move, too. I thought she wanted to get away from the kid next to you. No, I just wanted you she to She wanted move. me to block the door. <laughs> but there's a big geyser at the end that shoots up. And if, if you're there when it shoots up, you're soaked. There's, yeah. no, there's no doubt about it. And we're going towards it as it's going. And we got within three feet, turned off. It turned off. So we, uh, we, we just missed it. It was nice. Yeah. So what are we doing? Where, where are we at now? Back to Disneyland? Or are we going through park to park? So we can go to California Adventure. California Adventure. And I can't say enough about my favorite ride there. Mission Breakout. Mission Breakout. Is, That's amazing. You can't even compare it to Tower Terror except they're in the same building. That's it. And I was talking about this with Chris about saying 
like we're saying, do we want that? Do you want things like that at our park? Or do we want to have two parks that have different ones so you get different experiences at different parks? And I really think you should. As much as I want like Cars Land. Most of the stuff behind us, yes, we did get at Character Warehouse. Yeah. Character Warehouse and at the parks. I feel like if we have two different parks and you get different experiences, is we can go back and experience it. Yeah. It's just, it'd be cheaper if they could put up, for us, if they could put up two tower terrace. <laughs> but Mission Breakout is totally different. I wasn't prepared for it. Four different rides. Four different rides. There's six of them. There's six of them. <clears throat> I feel like I'm repeating you. You're doing my job I'm repeating. Doing, I'm doing your job. I don't know. Should we tell them like how it starts? Uh, probably not. I didn't tell Jim, and Jim like Jim loved the surprise. Okay, we won't tell you how how it's different from. You ours. still get. You still go out and you still see the. It still opens the door and you still see the parks, but we're in Tower Terror where you're just up and down, up and down, up and down. This will stop, and each different floors have different scenes, which are. Yeah. One scene had Groot. And we Baby like, Groot laughing yeah. at Star Lord that just I'm still laughing right now <laughs> thinking about it. it so funny. We like Guardians, so that was just funny when you can see Groot like <laughs> like laughing. It was so cute. Yeah, Rocket and that is amazing too in right. the beginning. That animatronic is pretty good. When we say four different rides within Mission Breakout, it means that there's six there, different song each ride has a song to each it. Each one you go in is different. Can right. be different. And when we say different, we mean like six drops. Different, six different ride elevators, we should say. And different scenes. Yeah. You see different scenes, too. <clears throat> like they're, they're, the point of it is to break the Guardians of the Galaxy out because they were they were captured by Tavon and they're, ex, they're an exhibit. There's different monsters. like the. Uh, so you don't know which one you're going to get. Yeah, you get. don't know which one you're going to get. And there's, and there's probably like six different scenes in it that you go back to. And... There's different little monsters and different monsters that attack them too. Yes. And I guess starting next week or the week after or in September, it yeah. goes to Monsters After Dark. And like, ah, oh, I need to go there during Halloween. <laughs> but the, the quality of these scenes is like watching a 4K TV. It's, oh, it was uh, it's so amazing clear. how clear it was. It was very clear. Um, somebody's just asking about policy at the character warehouse. We're not sure because we've heard it, diff it was on. And we it heard it's off. off. We heard it's on. So we're just going to go check it out. And if see. we go there this week and, and we're not allowed to film, then we're not allowed to film. Yeah. We'll see if there's something we can buy. If, yeah. We'll check it out for you guys. Because like we said earlier, I don't know if you were on here earlier, to just take a bunch of pictures and voiceover, I don't know if that will work. Yeah. Because what I'm not very good at voiceover. And if I can't talk about it when I'm there, I don't It'd be weird. Yeah. So Cars Land. Cars Land. We talked was, a little about Cars Land. We did. We did early magic hours first for Cars Land, and everybody rushed to Radiator Racers. I mean, when we say I, when rushed, I say rushed, they were running. Yeah, there was. It looked like the videos you see in other countries where they're running to it, and literally, like right before you get in the turnstile, so if somebody could run in front of you, they would have. And mm -hmm. and uh, we got. We finally got. It didn't take that long. Maybe 20, 25 minutes, and it said it was a fifty minute wait. So we got off the ride and we're walk. We're walking by and go. Looks like there's nobody in line. So we go back, we walked right on. Yeah. Everybody ran over there, did it, and then ran to other parts of the town. Right. But you cannot compare that to test track either. No. It's just yeah. maybe it's the same, you know, it's almost the same ride or this or that, but no, don't even compare it. Yeah. And I was surprised by how much of it was inside of a building too. Wow. It was really good. And outside the race, and a little hint, if no, you're I shouldn't tell them. I shouldn't tell them if they're mm -hmm. gonna win or lose. Yeah. Okay, well. Pixar Pier. Pixar Pier was great because that's where I got the uh, abominable, adorable snowman. It, it was, it felt like you were at a, a classic carnival, you know, seaside. The only thing it was missing that they could have added there was like beach noise, like yeah. uh, like wave noise in the background. Yeah. And you would you would have thought, hey, I'm at the pier. But the Incredicoaster and the whole theming. We did Toy Story Mania there too, which was awesome. The Fun Wheel, <clears throat> Incredicoaster. We didn't do Soren. We we finally got to see what? <laughs> I was talking. You just did something I would do. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, go, go ahead. ahead. No, it's all right. We didn't do Woody's Roundup or Jesse's Roundup, the little we didn't uh, do the two carousels. It was just like a carousel. Yeah. Or emotional whirlwind. We didn't do that one either. Thank you, Lisa, for love of the mouse made him. Crystal made him. Test, Test track or cars land? land? Over if I had to if I, 
if I rode one, each of them once, I'd go to Cars Land. Cars Land. But since, you know, since Test Track is our history and like what we, I go to Cars Land. Oh, Lisa said Tim Tracker gave it out. Gave what up? The secret about winning or losing. Oh. Yeah, we just ran into Tim, I don't know how many times at D23. <laughs> He's a super nice guy. Because he was talking to someone. I walked up and I said, is this the official Tim Tracker meeting spot? He just laughed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what else was I say? Cars Land. If you, have, if you have the chance when you're there. See at, it at night. At sunset. When at they, 7. Well, right now, sunset. Right 733, now, 734. At sunset. They turn on. You get to see all the uh, neon lights. If you see the on. cast members sitting right at the underneath the, uh, the stoplight and they start singing Life is But a Dream. That's when it's going to come. Yeah, out. it was pretty. And cool. we did notice, uh, was it Lauren that pointed out, Matthew and Lauren vlogs, that the blinking light is the same in the movie when Mater says, have you ever noticed the third the third blink is longer? And they do it for there, too. It's pretty cool. There's so many Easter eggs in there. No, so many. Yeah. So many. And just to see, it actually feels like you're in, like, the canyon. like a can I did, did a really, Cynthia and, and Lisa said something about D23. But didn't they announce a new land in Epcot? What do you mean? She said that she was, uh, they thought they were going to announce a new land in Disney World. I know they announced a whole bunch at Epcot, but we missed everything that happened today because we were traveling. And we were sleeping, so we've gotten some <clears> of it. Um, Disney Air Herders say, surprised that you have Tim Tracker in his own panel. I feel. You know what was funny about Tim? We, talk, we were talking to him. He, even with the media oh, pass, yeah. they still had to get reservations for, and he, he didn't get all the right, he didn't get the Legends panel. Yeah, he said he had a hard time getting reservations. He was in the uh, one panel with us with the uh, Immersive Worlds, and which was awesome because that's where you get to meet Joe Rohde, mm -hmm. but it wasn't what I was expecting. Right. It was four people, Joe Rohde with Avatar Land, Jeanette who did Ulani, and then Scott and Luke who did Discovery Cove, and... Star Wars land. Star Wars land talked about their lands, which was cool. We got to, I got to talk to Scott afterwards who did Galaxy's Edge. And then you got to talk and meet with Joe Rohde, which was awesome. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel bad for Tim Tracker because he literally walks like a couple steps. He gets stops, walks a couple steps. He gets sucks. It was, it was kind of but the same way with great, Adam. He's such a great guy about it. And cause Adam, we were, uh, Oh, I had it up here earlier. Here it is. Adam was funny too because he gave us uh, his little. We got him out of the whoop. Adam the whoop pin. But we were walking out just to take a picture of the front because when we came in the first day, it was just like they didn't even scan our badges or anything. They were just like, get in there. And it was just like a wave, like on uh, World War Z when their zombies are going towards the wall. It was just like. Psh. Hi, Arvind to Disney. Hey, Arvind. So you want to talk about. Um, D23, D23, your thoughts about D23? My thoughts about it would be, I have mixed feelings so far. I'm not sure if I'm I was not happy with the lines to get in because I wasn't really happy because some people got there before us and got in after us. I'm not like sure. The, just the way the lines moved, there was no rhyme or reason. So we, we've talked with some, some lady, said that she got there a first day on Friday at 8.40 and didn't get until noon. And didn't get until noon. We got there at nine ish first day. We were in by ten. Yeah. The second day, we got there at after ten and walked right in. Yeah. Just went in the side gate. And we also heard on the legend panel there was a whole. You know, if everybody's heard about the whole like snafu about getting the reservations, they put them up and then you couldn't get any. But if you were a gold member, a lot of these panels had lines for gold members, gold family members, gold members. And they got in before the reservation people because yeah. we actually got into the 50 years of the haunted mansion before all the people with the reservations because we were in an area when they said you know you can't stop you can't stand here the, the lines gonna form 11 30 so we just kept walking in a circle where they were telling us to keep walking and luckily we got in there we got into it and then they cut it off and the, the panel wasn't even full that was a bad thing but what i was saying about the legends they had the guys that went there that stayed overnight when they finally got in they put them into a room and then, uh, let me click this off. It's one to restart. Uh, they forgot about them. These gold members, gold that had been in line since what, probably one or two in the morning, and forgot they were in, off in another room and just barely got them in. 
to, to see, they didn't even think they were going to get them into the arena, but then they gave them uh, a subscription to Disney Plus for their yeah. troubles. But how can you can forget about a whole room of people? That's amazing. I just think it wasn't parts of it weren't well organized to see the thing about it is you had the convention center people running part of it and disney people running part of it and i don't think they were talking no because there was one point the par the parade was getting ready to start and we asked somebody where's the parade and they're like they don't have a parade here they call it a street party yeah but then when they're walking down the people in, in charge of the parade, street party said look out the parade's coming through <laughs> so we I got to see two of them it was pretty cool i have to say the worst experience for me was when we went to the Haunted Mansion panel. Oh, I, yeah. I don't think... I, I, I don't think uh, security is supposed to put their hands on you when people are pushing the line. So... Because I almost got kicked out telling them, guy, if you, if you touch me again. Yeah, because there was people lined up and they had cast members lined up that we couldn't get past in security. And... People were like, link arms, link arms. And I'm like, what is going on? Like, this is Disney. They can't, they can't. Like, what, is, what are you guys they, doing? Okay, put it this way. See this wall behind us? Consider, like, every space right here is a person. Person, 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 person. Mm -hmm. Then they go, all right, we're going to form three straight single file lines. And everybody goes, what the hell are you talking about? You can't three. get into three lines. And they, they, they take some guys. He goes, all right, you walk down here, you walk down there, and don't let them close the line. So once they walk by, they close. But what happened was... And I told the guy, I said, if you would have made a funnel like they have at Haunted Mission, we know how to work that. Yeah, we know how to work the funnel. Yeah. But what had happened is all the cast members were there and security was there. And when they started letting people go, people were pushing. So pe somebody like pushed me, pushed. It was like a big push. Yeah. And I like stumbled. Because the lady fell next to you. Yeah, the lady fell next to me. And the security guard pushed me back, and I was like, don't touch me. I was like, they're pushing me. Yeah. Like, I had nowhere to go. Like, it was and crazy. And then me and him about got into it. Yeah, it was crazy. And they did, I guess he did such a bad job that one of the official Disney people had him off to the side. Yeah. was talking to him. Because mm -hmm. they probably heard me, me, and I probably used some words I can't say right now about touching me. Yeah. And they pulled him off to the side. Yeah. But, but when people are pushing you from yeah, behind. you can't, you know. And we're That's talking, how people get hurt. And we're talking about this is just a panel to go see something about Haunted Mansion. To see people talk about the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> that was it. They weren't giving nothing away. And it wasn't even full. It wasn't even full. But what happens is you had they you had to push through and you had to stand in line for half yeah, hour. You had to push through to get into another line. To get into a line, to wait for half hour, and then to get into the, the room to and wait then, for half hour. This was the funny part. To get this is this is going more crazy. So they line up like this. Line up like this, line up like this. This is the first row in, this is the second. So the first row goes in, they put them in like the worst spot. The second and third row, they put them front row center. You're yeah. like, these were like, we were in the first row. These are the people who've been waiting here the longest. You give them the, it, on the floor, they're worst seats. Yeah. And we heard people that said that they were like two minutes late for their panel. And they wouldn't let them in. And they wouldn't let them in. But so. yet we saw them walking in. Hi, Cargo. We saw them walking in people. Yeah. Like they, there was a whole bunch of people from, I'm, I'm guessing, Tokyo Disney. Yeah. seeing what it was like in every panel we were in they were brought in like they were later hey bellow hunt adventures yeah i do think that um d23 is coming to orlando yeah we heard it's coming to orlando for next. the um magic kingdom's 50th so that's going to be in 2021 right i don't know where they're going to have it because if there's like if the rumors were 80 to 100 thousand people i don't know i can't see him having it at the convention center it's so far off of disney property and some of the lines we checked trying to get in for the stores were like an hour and a half long. We didn't get in any stores. Hey, Steven, because every time we went into the line, they're like, even the Disney store, they're like, it's a 20 minute wait. So we're like, all right, let's go back and like, oh, the line's capped. You have to come back in 20 minutes. Like, what do you mean capped? You just stop. You put people in line. And at one point you say, OK, we're stopping for a little while, but still stay in line. Yeah. They wouldn't even get you in line. There was, a, you know, it was just weird. But they were still, it was still a good experience. Yeah, though. it was really good. It was cool walking around, seeing all the cosplayers. Oh, yeah, and you got amazing. You got some stuff you probably never ever thought you would get. Some yeah. orange, orange bird salt and pepper shakers. I know. I was so excited for those. Because in, inside the the one hall, they had a lot okay. of. Uh, you can get them. They had thousands upon thousands of uh, pins, probably any kind of pin you can imagine. We're not pin collectors. 
or we probably would have looked at more. We didn't even look at any for Orange Bird, <clears throat> but there was people selling uh, all kinds of stuff inside, from old uh, Disney memorabilia to masks to costumes to what have you. It was pretty cool. <clears throat> can you still film? We don't, uh, James, we don't know yet. The, we heard you can and we heard you can't. So until we go there and they say we can't, we're going to we're gonna go there next and then try it. Let's see. Did you find them? Yeah. Yep. We, did, we didn't get a lot of uh, stuff there. We didn't buy anything besides these at B23. Yeah. Because we're not, like, the stuff you see behind us, if they had special popcorn buckets or something like that, maybe. But we're not... We're not collectors and sellers, so we just we get the stuff we like. Maybe we're just cheap. And we're cheap. We're on cheap. <laughs> we wait. We wait for stuff to go at the character warehouse. We're uh, warehouse jaded. Yeah, but this hey, is Aaron. pretty cool. I don't know which way. Yeah, you can just hold it like they both the same. Yeah, they're salt and pepper the shakers. Same. How cool is that? So it's old school. They're antique. It's probably hard to see because uh, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. There you go. But I just thought they were so cute. And these were, for two of them, it was like $24. Yes. Yeah, but they had old serving platters with orange bird on it, $80, and old uh, money bank for $40. They, they weren't, the they stuff wasn't cheap. a ton of collectible, like Disneyland little plates, <clears throat> anything that you can think of. It was well, the just... pins were kind of, did you see the prices on the pins? A lot of pins were $8 or less, or you bought three for like $20, or there was, That's there was deals on them. And they had a lot of pops. A lot of too. Star Wars pins. A lot of, a lot pops. of Funko Pops. A lot of Funko Pops. And I thought uh, I'd heard the. Uh, I feel stupid about it now. The Dapper Dan's were the Funko Pops, so I thought they were actual Dapper Dan's. I didn't know it was uh, the four characters. I didn't know it was Mickey, Donald, Plu uh, and Goofy, and I didn't know it was them. I thought it was actual Dapper Dan Oh. Uh, I'm like, which ones are they gonna pick? Because we only know. It was weird seeing the ones at Disneyland. Yeah, being different like, Dapper Dans than what we're used to. We're like, those aren't our Dapper Dans. And seeing the band too. Yeah. Playing a lot. Because we don't we don't have the bands. That and was, the band and the, like the little music group out in front of Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Where did I find the orange? They had a, a just a vendor booth set up selling all like old and Hall A yeah. by uh the arena. Yeah, just amazing Disney antique stuff it was funny we watched the parade and the first parade we saw phineas and the people who did the voices like and the second parade we're like i don't know any of these people in it and then after they passed they're like oh that's the guy from pitch perfect but they advertised him as somebody from a tv show and i didn't know who he was but the parades were they went with a the disco theme this year with many and many um somebody's asking so do you like d23 um if it comes to Orlando, if it comes to, if it comes to Orlando, like they said, I would go. I would probably go for one day. I don't know if I would do multiple days. Uh, at least it's not finally gone. When I got back here, it came back. It's just I just been. <clears throat> now yeah. that you mentioned it, I might cough. <clears throat> kind of streetmosphere. Yeah. Fans. Yeah, and it's really cool seeing how small Disneyland Main Street is. How small the buildings are in the castle how small it was it but it was quaint. like i would it felt per, it, it felt more intimate yeah and like it, it a lot more like, trees in disneyland it felt like i could <clears> say <throat> like i could live in that castle <laughs> yeah you, it was small enough it was small it was, enough you could probably clean it too. it was more realistic <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was really realistic like, and we actually went in the castle and did the uh sleeping beauty tour right where you, it's a walk through and you see the story over and they had some really cool um <laughs> character meet and greets there she had the best character. You and Chris. Yeah. We met Corella DeVille and um, Chip and Dale were around and they kept trying to come in and jump in the picture and she kept yelling at them. And then they were doing like little, little <coughs> talks to her that they love Corella. Yes, it is Marisette. Yeah. <clears throat> but it, it was, and they were like, Chip and Dale were doing this to her. Mm -hmm. And she's like, you dirty, nasty rodents. <laughs> Yeah, she was a good Corella. She was a very good Corella. <laughs> and there was one time we were walking out to, you, you know how you you exit Disneyland and Disney World pretty much the same way. You have the front entrance, and then there's there's obviously bars and there's walkthroughs. It's just aerial. She was just by the standing exit. there, and people aren't really looking at the, her. Cinderella was over here, you know, attention. She's over over by the exit, and just like 
just standing hey, there waiting for somebody doing? to come talk to her. That's funny. So we saw some, oh, what else we see? Captain Hook. We saw Captain Hook roaming around. Yeah, you, yeah, you talked to him. You had a yeah. picture with him. Yeah. We saw a lot and saw Peter Pan skipping around all over the place. Peter Pan was all over the place. Many, many, a lot. Many, yeah. many, many. Pluto. Many. I think I only saw Donald like one time. He was in the parade. But they did do a cool parade at uh, like almost one o'clock where the band and the characters marched down Main Street and they stopped out in front of the Dapper train. Dapper Dan's were there too. Yeah, Dapper Dan's were there too. Oh, excuse me. That was sponsored by D&G. And uh, they did one or two songs. Mm -hmm. It was pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, one of the vlogs. Uh, what else? So D23. D23 was cool. Uh, but the way the panels are, and and unless you stand wait by one of the panels or Tal Central, it'd be hard to see a lot of people. I didn't see anybody roaming around. We did see the redhead. Like we walked by her, and I almost did like got whipped. Yeah, we saw her. I was like, "There's the redhead." Yeah. We saw her right uh, like right the, as we were walking by the pirates. Right. Like you really had to keep your eyes open. Yeah. Like Tiana, she was just walking around. And she, uh, we saw her in the Mark Twain once. Yeah. She jumped on that. We did do the Columbia. Oh, we, we saw Belle. She, she Belle just was just walking around, and she was and ready to jump on the carousel. She, yeah, she jumped on something. It was a carousel. And we we're like, is that really Bell or is it yeah, just no. somebody dressed? And really and then cool. everybody's like, that's a really good Bell. Mm -hmm. And uh, we didn't do the paddle, the Canopes. We didn't do that. We did the Columbia. We did do Galaxy's Edge ten times. Not like the ride. No, we did the ride twice, but we walked through it at least ten times. But the ride was cool. The ride was cool. We got the the first time on there. We went on with. With uh, Matthew and Lauren and Derek and Greg, and, and I have to say, the you don't want me um, being piloting left, left control. You don't want me to pilot the ship because I wasn't good. And if you if you do if you haven't ride it yet, you're uh, to go up, you pull back, and to go down, you push forward, and just you'll get the hang of it right away because when you go start going down, you you know to pull back and left and right is probably the same, but you didn't notice. Julia says um, she likes <clears throat> how you can walk across. That was the amazing thing. Oh, that's, that was amazing. It was just like, sure, let's hop on over there. We did that so much. Like, she'd be looking and it's like, hey, I can get a fast pass for Mission Breakout and we're over on Thunder Mountain. Let's that's why I was it. happy we had the park hopper so but we could go back and she, forth. You probably noticed the later guy during the week, you'd say, I, I'd say, get it. Because if you looked at it again, it might be gone yeah. or it might have moved back three hours. Um, that was the only bad part about the fast pass. Disney nerd heard her asking, did they have Halloween party going? No, they didn't. They didn't even have any Halloween decorations up yet. Yeah, I was really sad about that because I wanted to see them. They, uh, I guess today it goes down, right? Mm -hmm. After today, uh, maybe the Haunted Mansion know. all that goes. It was sometime that they start doing the overlay. I don't know if it was this Sunday or next Sunday. They because they have it. Well, it has to be ready for September. Yeah. So I think Matthew and them said it was going down today like the end of today and then getting the overlay on it i'm happy <clears throat> though um but they're i guess their party this year is at dca right but i'm happy we didn't go and see we didn't have a rental car so we didn't go outside of the disney area except to in and out one day right but i'm happy that we did it that way for our first time <laughs> That we really immersed ourselves and were able to experience it all. Like we experienced everything that we wanted to. It was walking around there and everything was a lot nicer. Mm -hmm. But the weather was fantastic. The weather was amazing. It was, it was, it almost made you giggle when you hear people are like, oh, it's so hot. And you're like, this, this feels <laughs> fabulous. And then at night, they're like, you see people putting jackets and coats on, you're like, it's 68 degrees. Yeah. This is this is fantastic. It's fantastic. And we got off the plane, came out the terminal. I said it on the plane. I said, how long do you think before we start sweating? We walked out of the terminal and she's like, oh, my God. It was terrible. It was, it was, it was humidity. It was just right there. And I know um, Jim with more sunshine, please asked, what, is there one thing that you would do differently? Going? About the experience, and I know what mine was. And Not actually, saying, actually, Lorraine just, um, just she's. We didn't even we didn't even do a room tour though. This the is hotel. she's just gotten to my question. Is that was the one thing I regretted? Staying on because Disney we property. didn't know the era. We didn't know it. It's not that it was a bad hotel. It was it was good. It was clean. It wasn't like dirty or anything. Yeah, there was nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with it except for the pool water was. 
<laughs> so it's freezing. freezing. Um, but they're actually going for a rehab. We stayed at the Paradise, Paradise Pier. Pier Hotel. The rumor is, and I, it might have been announced today, we don't know, uh, that it's going to become Pixar Pier Hotel. They're going complete. down for a rehab in October. The room was huge, though. The, the room was huge, like space-wise and everything. That was all fine. It was just, for me, it was... The distance. The distance to walk. So I think it wasn't very far. Here's a good example. The fireworks are 16 minutes long. We were on Main Street when the fireworks started, and they finished right before we got to our hotel. Right. So it's like a an 18-minute walk. But if you stay at the hotels on the other side, they're right there. Right. So... Yeah. And they're a lot cheaper. They're a lot cheaper. So right? we can't say anything for Grand saying. California because that even with every discount you get, you're still going to, the, the cheapest you'll get is 300 bucks. So that's what we're saying. We're not saying it's a bad hotel. We're just no, saying, bad. I don't feel like there was a benefit to staying at that Disney hotel. When The only thing I can say at that hotel though, when you have Disney people that stay to the parks till 10 or 11, keep your shop open later inside this inside the hotel and inside the hotel because people will walk back they'll need drinks and stuff like that and you have the drinks and the food in there don't close at nine yeah that's the only that's the only thing i can say so if you can get a hotel i don't know what the name of that road is the main street there's we like, were on south disneyland Bull, uh, drive there's like the other a, one's catella or harbor yeah i saw like a marriott and whatever the it, same road that candy cane lanes on it was literally closer than our hotel was yeah like you could literally walk it and walk like right out of di downtown Disney, right into the room. Five minutes. We picked somebody up right at the entrance to, and that was the Best Western or something, or would you say? Yeah, I think so. And even uh, some cast members even said, oh, "It's stay over here. You, you're yeah, closer to everything." South Harbor Boulevard. South Harbor. Yeah. And we did uh -huh. use the Grand California entrance, which was nice. We used that a lot. We used it a lot um, when we we're going to California Adventure because it's right across the street from yeah. our hotel, pretty much. No, if I could afford it and stay there, <laughs> then I think it would be worth it. Because the Grand California stretches all the way to California Adventure into downtown Disney. Right. Yeah. But I just don't think it was worth the price. Like, I didn't see any benefit from saying For their early magic hours and everybody who's been to Disney World for early magic hours, it's really early magic hours. You're, in the, you're in the park ready at the rope that when that 7 o'clock comes that you can go to the lands. There, they didn't open the gates until 7 o'clock. Right. So by the time we got to our first time doing a Disneyland, we did a Peter Pan first. But we didn't 20 get in, minutes. Yeah, we didn't we get to. into the park until like 7, 20, 25. And you're like saying like, that's not like such a big deal. But it kind of is if you're trying to. By the time to you're hit, off two, one or two rides, there's, the park's open. Yeah, you're trying to hit everything really mm -hmm. fast before the park opens. Yes. Yeah. And they didn't open all the lands either. Mm -hmm. uh, Star Wars land didn't open until 8. Right. Because yeah. we heard people going, all right, we're going to do whatever until 7.45 and then run over there. So you knew that. We knew not to go over there because that area was going to be packed too. The California Adventure. They, they let us in. Well, that's because we were at Disney California Adventure. That might have been different. They let us in. Because we walked through the Grand California, yeah. they let us in earlier. But I think if we were at the front gates, I don't think they let you in early. But the, the, those people there were waiting. At, we went all the way up to where the pier was, and you can look at the uh, fun wheel and all that. When they said go, people took it literally, and they went. Right. So the hotel, like, nothing mm -hmm. was, like, dirty or bad about it. Mm -hmm. No, it was fine. I would just choose to stay at a closer hotel where you could just walk. And it's right weird because you know it's the Grand California. It looks just like Wilderness Lodge to it me. It did. It was beautiful though. It was absolutely beautiful. Right. And we, um, I like the. And it's right there. Soren's right behind it too. Right. I like the historic feel of the Disneyland Hotel. We walked around that area a bit too, but it's just as far as. And the, the weirdest thing in the Disneyland Hotel is we went into uh, we ate breakfast at Goofy's Kitchen one morning, in the bathroom was downstairs it by downstairs. itself it was so creepy but it had really cool wallpaper yeah, it had the cool it had <laughs> cool wallpaper but it's like what is this it only goes down to the bathroom and an entrance for cast members for something yeah. it, was, it was weird but it felt like the disneyland hotel was just back as far as maybe not but a little bit as our hotel yeah it was it was maybe a four minute walk to our hotel from there yeah five minutes but you, you to go into the parks that way, you have to go through all the way through downtown Disney. Look who's up this morning. Oh my gosh, it's morning there. Yort's up. I guess he made it back safely. I'm glad Troy you guys TV. made it back. We, we ran into him twice. It was awesome. And his wife. And yeah, and he got to build a lightsaber. Yeah. He was excited. Was they, cool. they had a great trip. They were there a long time. Yeah, it was really nice meeting you guys in person. Yeah. 
So I would say that was the only thing that um, I would do differently. What about you? Is there anything else? Hey, Juan's here. We hung out with Juan a lot too. Hi, Juan. Juan's awesome. A lot of Juan has a lot of information. Did we say it? No, we didn't get to the basement during D23. No. No, we heard people that went to the basement there, but we didn't. We weren't. Uh, we, we weren't. We're not the type of people since it was our first one that had to get there early to to get in the lines to buy the merch to sell it or whatever they do with it, or to get into the crazy panels, because come to find out they had gold member lines that you could just walk yeah. in and get lucky enough to get in. We could have got into the uh, parks panel, was it, or the uh, maybe it was the Marvel one that they were giving all the uh, posters away that went on eBay right afterwards of Rise of the Walker for like a hundred. Rise of Skywalker for like 150 bucks. Mm -hmm. We could have got in that with no problem. We right. just we were more interested in seeing everything else. All right, what else? What did I miss? Oh, my girls. Oh, they're both mm -hmm. sleeping. They, it, that was the worst. That was the worst part about being on vacation is having to board the girls. Yeah, but it was amazing seeing like Juan and everybody in person. Yeah, one day we were hanging out with Matthew, Lauren, Juan. Greg, Chris, Derek, Jim, Doug, uh, Artie, and I bet ben. they're I bet they're worse jet lag than we're jet lag. Yeah, because we're only three hours behind. Uh, Sue, the food we were never disappointed. They're probably like they're like a whole day almost behind. Your tour. Oh yeah, they they had way longer. Yeah, than us. We make it back home safely and smoothly. Yeah, they're like a whole day behind us. So yeah, we uh, yeah we got went got home and got the girls came back did a couple things and like we're like at, it was almost ten o'clock and we're like you just want to take a two hour nap four and a half hours later we were up. So we heard so any the only little things I heard anybody else heard of like what's coming the new things well we got the new parade at Disneyland Mary Poppins experience at yeah. um, England England um, Moana. Moana. They changed the name of the lands in uh, to future, whatever it was, and they had this weird but cool 3D map of Epcot. We'll have it in one of the vlogs you've probably seen on Instagram. It didn't make any sense whatsoever. I feel like Epcot they had it. It was needs... like on a mountain, and you're like, okay, where's this? Where's that? I feel like Epcot needs love. It needs some updating. They have a new Epcot theme song, and they have they did show the. Uh, Kite, new, kite show the kite show and they showed the hotel going into that was super cool <clears throat> it's pretty cool they're only building you know the the crew quarters or where you sleep and where you eat and stuff but the whole it's like a chandelier chan i forget the name uh spaceship that you're supposed to be on it looks really cool, it looks really cool. and we did see the uh how you're going to get from the hotel to galaxy's edge which is some bus that has some overlay over it or something. I just want to see it. It yeah. just looks very, it looks so cool. I think they should make a Haunted Mansion hotel. <laughs> but then, you know, there's going to be people calling the front desk. There's, there's some noise that's scared. that we yeah. have a Haunted Mansion hotel. There's going to be Disney all noises Her all night. Disney Nerd Herbert said, <laughs> World, World Earth, Earth, World Showcase. Yeah, yeah, I, couldn't, World Discovery. I couldn't read them all. And it looked like, the from what we've seen, it looks like Moana was going, and I'm, it's, I'm probably wrong, but it had the water shooting up like it does over by Figments. I don't know. And it looked like at the end of where World Showcase starts, they had some stuff built up and different layers of oh, that's cool. Like trees getting... and stuff. Yeah. Agreed. Haunted Mansion Hotel would be awesome. Who would not pay? You know, and you don't. You can you can do something like that and not go. Hey, you have to pay a thousand dollars. No, make it more reasonable. You'll sell out every night. You know. Yeah. And crazy. they have a new cruise ship coming out. They named that Disney Wish. Disney Wish with um, Rapunzel theming in the back. It looks amazing. It? They had uh, Tinkerbell with the uh, reveal, with the name, with the wish. I didn't even notice Rapunzel. On the back. Do you know, like, the, Tired, yeah. the back of it? Yeah, it looked like a, a small, intimate ship. It didn't look like I don't think crazy they announced prices because they're so expensive. The Star Wars Hotel, I think when they first announced it, it was it was going to be like, uh, I, th I thought it was 1000 or 1200 a night. And there was a certain, you can only stay so many nights or you can only, you had a minimum and a maximum you could stay. Just really expensive. 
yeah, the, Chris is right. The prices are getting ridiculous. They don't need to put them up there. They could build so many more hotels, make them moderately priced, and they're still going to. They're still going to fill so, up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Especially at Disneyland. When they, downtown Disneyland isn't what it used to be because they were going to build a hotel there, then they scrapped it. They could have built just a, a moderate resort there, and it would have been sold out every day. Right. You know, somebody asked, did we go to Disney Plus streaming? We went, we didn't go to the panel, we went over to the booth, and then I got to see uh Jim Brown there with Trey Wingo was interviewing him. It was kind of cool seeing an old football legend. I think that's is that the one where uh, that's I don't know if the one, that's the one that Rock showed up where he showed up at the studios one, mm -hmm. but we could have got into the Disney Plus one too. And we're, it, it's just time, it was time constraints. Yeah, Chris is saying even the value resorts are no longer value. It's mm -hmm. true. No, and they don't have to do that. They're already getting enough money from you everywhere else. But uh, like we did hear people talking in line that it seems like Disney will come out with these price raises and everything and see what people are willing to pay. And they found out what people were willing to pay in Disneyland because people stopped. They know the cutoff there. That's this is about as high as they can go for now, or people just aren't going to come. Yeah, but it's more expensive than it's Disneyland, around. and we can say that it's mostly a annual pass holder park. It is an annual pass holder crowd. Yeah, yeah. But that's only that's the only reason I say I wouldn't stay there again is because it was expensive, and I didn't feel like it was worth it. Yeah, and uh, I think there's so many annual pass. We I know we're used to annual pass holder discounts. But they should give your annual pass holders a 20% discount. Give your hotel guests a 10%. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're already, the hotel guests are, spent, are in a week are going to spend more than what most annual pass holders spend in a That's year. That's our most expensive thing is, um, is our food. Food, yeah. And drinks. I mean, you have to get them while you're there, so you're stuck. Two drinks, and a, two drinks is 10 bucks now. Right. You know? Yeah. That's what we spent. I probably, we probably spent 90% of our money on food. Food and drinks. Food and drinks. Yeah. And Trader Sam's. Yeah. I don't even want to get started on Trader Sam's. If you go to Trader Sam's, ask the prices before you ask to get a souvenir cup. That's yeah, all I can say. Yeah, we didn't ask for the prices. They gave AP discounts on popcorn at Disneyland. They might. We don't know. We did get an AP discount for our Orlando discount at Jazz Kitchen. <laughs> we tried. And it we tried for, everywhere we went. It wasn't for lack of trying. Because they would ask every single time. And yeah, show them the Florida pass, and they'd be like, nope. <laughs> nope, sorry. You can just count. We tried everywhere. Tried everywhere. And then the one girl's like, sure. Sure, yeah. I'll That's give it to you. And we so, saved like $4. So that was super nice of her. It was. That was pretty no, cool. I am re really tired. <laughs> we are super tired. We didn't really sleep. I mean, you can't really, you don't, when you get on a plane, you don't really go into like a deep sleep. There was two times I tried to sleep, and... For whatever reason, like I said, with my back and my discs and my kidney and everything, I, I just haven't been comfortable this week. And on a plane, my left back of my thigh just kept tightening up and I had to stand or move. I couldn't sleep. But the second we got home and I laid down. Yeah. So he's got it right. So next time if we go to Disneyland, we'll stay at a cheaper hotel so we have more money to spend on souvenirs. Yeah. Yeah. Because it gets to the point where you're at your – like we could have went to – uh Blue Bayou, and we're like, do we want to spend that much more money on food? It'd be cool hanging out with them guys more, but you know, when you're already at like past your food budget for the week, you're right? Like, uh, yeah, it's tough. It's tough. And we and we got lucky with Patton, you know, known cast members that we got two days free. Yeah. Otherwise, we would only would have went to the parks five days. Extremely, extremely lucky. It's not cheap. No. Not okay. cheap at all. That's like I give it to I can't. Give it so much credit to uh, all you guys that come and stay for a week and everything. Yeah, my uh, <clears throat> I got uh, I got to see the neurologist still on my on my uh, back, and they had me on so many so many medicines that brought my kidney functions down to about a thirty percent. So I don't know if that was some of my back pain on top of that, but it's going to be a, another week of seeing some doctors. Yeah, I so, uh, so Jason, I, I have to apologize to Ashley right now for and everybody that we are hanging out with for slowing them down this week because it got to a point and I had one speed. More Ronto wraps. More Ronto wraps. Yeah, uh, cheaper hotels equals more Ronto wraps. Yeah, you need because those things are fourteen bucks a pop. <laughs> those things are expensive. Like it was like uh, Justin's 
said uh, he's like, oh, it's cheap. No, it's fourteen. It's fourteen. It's fourteen. Before you know, it, you're spending fifty dollars for three, three taco wraps. And the blue wraps. milk and the green milk. It was like two of them was seventeen dollars. Yeah, yeah. So it is expensive. Mm. They are so cool. We did not buy one. It's the little thermal detonator cokes. Yeah, we, thirteen ounces for five fifty. Yeah, we just actually like, forgot about it. No, I actually looked at them and thought, "I'm go." I love Star Wars and all that, but I don't need a, a Coke bottle sitting in the back. Because for one, I'm going to drink it if I'm paying for it. And then it's not worth anything. Yeah. Bob needs a, a batter horn. Just, that batter horn, actually, I was pretty The military discount? That. I'm not sure if they have that. They didn't offer that. They were only offering um, annual pass holder discounts in the park. We're talking about yeah. in the park. Oh, we didn't even ask. Yeah. Dang. Hey, well... Yeah, I don't even know why we didn't even ask. But they didn't offer it. No. All they said was, do you have an AP discount? Oh, in the parks? Yeah. I wouldn't have carried, I don't have I don't have my vet card. I just have my DD-214. So I'd probably have to get a vet card. I'm not going to carry my DD-214. Right. Because then it's as old as it is now. I don't want them to ruin it or say, what does this mean? What um, does that mean? Uh, hi. Um, okay. I think I missed it. Tip of the ears. Lorraine is hard. Issues in heart two weeks or two days ago for her kidneys. Oh wow. I have I got tomorrow I go for an ultrasound on my carotid arteries and my kidney. So hopefully. Hey. Maybe uh Tony knows anything more about the um character yeah, warehouse. Yeah, Tony might know some more about he's since he's been here, he might know more about whether we're allowed to film in the warehouses or not anymore. Because I know it went on and off. So we're not sure. My blood pressure's been fine. Yeah. It's been uh, actually the last few times I went, it's been, they were worried it had gotten too low. Yeah. Which is weird. <clears throat> so, Tony, do you know anything? Tony. Tony. I feel like I'm going to fall asleep while we're talking. I know. We should probably get off. We'll probably go six more minutes. And we were like talking beforehand. We're like, okay, if we can go for an hour, we can get ready. We can be asleep at nine and we can get a full night of sleep. And yeah. it's, but then you get to talking. It's okay to film. It's okay to film. Yeah, we had heard from Miss Clarence that later that day they'd already taken the signs down and there was a big outcry. Then somebody else said they put it back up. Yeah. So we're just, we're just gonna check it out. Yeah. Yeah. What about the warehouse? We don't know. We'll have to check it out this week. Yeah, if if, if when we go this week, if we can get in and film, we will. If we can't, but just we'll take some pictures and if post you them on do Instagram. go, just. Bring your patients uh -huh. because we have seen if you go at like if you go at rope drop rope drop to like mid morning you might have to stand outside and wait because they only let a certain amount of and that's a fire in. that's a fire marshal thing it's not anything else yeah it was a very weird situation I was in because I was told by two different people being a non cast member by a cast member yeah it's weird it's weird yeah you know it's just somebody trying to benefit themselves. I don't know who the person is, but you know, <clears throat> other people, the shoppers and then they make their living doing that too. So I mean, it affects everybody. I know how Tony, Tony does the same Nightmare thing. Set. Do. Like if we're in the character warehouse, we're basically like super close together, like filming. And we try to go to the area where there's nobody. Yeah. We will there. constantly move where there's nobody and there's no cast members. So we try not to like, and we've seen people, we don't try to interrupt who, who, anybody like new, who are new vloggers or whatever, just going through like the whole, you know, and we try not to. And it, the, the only time I cut anything out is if I do have a cast member in there mm -hmm. or something or people that I don't know, or if I don't know, you know, since we don't know them and didn't ask them if they want to be in a video, I try to cut them out. So we do try to be respectful yeah. and not like get in anybody's way. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 yep, yep. <laughs> I feel like I'm dead on my feet. But I just want to say thank you for everybody. Brian gets um, my jokes. Yeah. He's the only person here that gets your jokes. Uh, Travis gets them. So, yeah, I guess. Good night, Laura. Uh, and I don't, whatever we say during that is just that spur of the moment. It's, right. you can't, I don't think you could practice a joke for that place. <laughs> not that because place. it's just. You never know what's going to happen there. Like the other, like last week when uh, when we left and there was that police situation. Yeah. And then the next one, there was a kid doing whatever he was doing. He's doing these kicks and all this, and then until he hurt his leg. 
was, we went from one crazy situation to another crazy situation, jazzer size situation. And that was outside. So Did that happen right before the vacation? Yeah, that was that was the Thursday before. That was a super 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 yeah, get some sleep. Oh, you're <laughs> welcome, Jort. We we uh we went live the other night and I knew uh a lot of people would be probably be asleep, especially East Coast, mm -hmm. but it's copyright. I know it's copyright. Both of them are copyrighted. And if I put them in a vlog, it's because everything I did there live was copyrighted. So I figured at least if we stream electrical light parade and the fireworks, they can be in one. Yeah. And everybody everybody can watch them right into the next. Smack a princess. Smack a princess. See that? I don't know where that comes from. But I was just going to say that whole situation when we went to the character warehouse with the police. That was just. I've never been in that type of situation and it was the scariest thing because when that guy like jumped out of the car just now Thanks you never, Aaron. You never know like what's going to I thought happen. it was a girl that jumped out of the car. I couldn't <clears throat> see but I mean it's hard to tell. We were close enough that all I saw was four police officers with their guns drawn. Cuz I it didn't I it mentally it didn't connect to me because it looked like from my angle I saw the cop coming up and it looked like the girl jumped out of the car and the car backed into the cop. I think the car, the cop rammed the car. But yeah, now looking back at the whole situation, he he definitely rammed. He it. rammed the car. And then the cops came out from the so side. That's what the first thing I heard the was the ground. smack, and then you see everybody yelling, screaming. Yeah, it was get on the ground, we'll f and shoot you. Yeah, but we don't know. You don't know what that person in the car is going to do. Like yeah, because we were probably we were pretty close. We I were mean, like six six cars. Yeah, it was parking very, stalls from it. Was very scary. Yeah, it was. It was especially for her because it was your first situation. For me, being in different situations and seeing that stuff before, and especially the one time with the guy with the train, it was just. And I think there was another person in the car that took off running because cops like they shot past us, shot and past I looked and I was like, "Do they know it's over here?" But yeah. they they went to a specific area, and then when we got, if you've been in Vineland and you get back on the highway and you come back, it just looked like there was a cop parade. Yeah, over there. So I don't know if they were trying to. If they were the ones breaking into the cars or what, but usually when you do a situation like that, it's first of all, if you're trying to get away from cops, the outlets is the worst place to try to cut through because there's only two ways in and out, and that parking lot's insane. Like mm -hmm. I don't know where they thought they were going. Yeah, they just probably just got stuck in there. And that's another thing is that the police, how fast they were speeding by. There's so many people in that parking lot just walking and like all over the place, like not watching where they're going. Like that's scary. Especially the guys that drive the taxis, there because they're yeah. always on their phones. We've yeah. almost been hit by them a few times. Oh, double that. Jeff goes live minutes. in thirty minutes. If Jeff, if you're still on here, I'd love to make it, but. Seriously, yeah. we're probably gonna be asleep. Yeah, make sure you check out Dole with Dad. Looks like he's gonna be talking D twenty three with Brandy and Dave. So but if awesome. if you made any comments for anything of ours in the last week, and, and we haven't answered them, we will get to them. Is it a Mary? Just popping in super fast. I'm about to get in the line for yeah. the. See, Liz is still there. Liz, I hope you're feeling better. I know we like <sighs> couldn't connect because yeah. we were. There's so many people there. Yeah. Too. Even when you're on the phone connecting with somebody, it takes a while to find. Right. Them. Yeah. So it was, it was awesome. Yeah. And. She's what? What is she trying to get into? Disney shop. Yeah, we try it every we time. And they, like the lines cut off for right now. Come back. Right. And the one lady says uh, it was a ten minute wait. She goes, the lines cut off for twenty minutes. Come back. I said, no, I won't. <laughs> and she just looked at me like. But somebody was saying, on. was it is it a Mary Poppins meet and greet or is it going to be actual ride? It's a Mary, I, th I I didn't read a lot because we have gotten home and went to sleep. Yeah. But it's a Mary Poppins well, experience, we're right? We're gonna have or, to figure it out if it's a ride or if it's just an experience. Because there was so much information dropped with the uh, the marble land we've seen build being built over at uh california venture and <clears throat> all the stuff at epcot it's it hasn't completely processed in here so once i read more we see yeah, more we can we'll, talk about we'll it, better. it i don't, I don't want to give you any wrong information like i normally do oh susie said she heard it's right that so would did, be so amazing did, so did uh tony yeah that would be amazing yes it is information overload. i would love it to be the old the first mary poppins style I would love and it. they can mix it in with some uh, cartoons and stuff. So that was one of my favorite part in the fire, the show at Disneyland was the Step in Time. Step in Time. It was fun. I was waiting for that to come on too. Oh, also the Walt statue. Remember I showed you that? The one they're putting in? Yeah. Epcot? Epcot. Yeah, that was where you're sitting on the bench. And we did hear in, in the one panel we were in, 
That's one of Walt's parks, though, too. <coughs> the one panel that we were in. <coughs> excuse me. It's back. The, uh, was it Paige O'Hara? Or one of them talking about... She was a Disney legend. The first time she met Walt, she was a kid in oh, the park. Oh, it was such an amazing story. And they were they were outside of Pirates or something? She said she was, like, little, like... And she looked over and saw a guy sitting on a bench, and she's like, Mom, that's... That's Walt Disney, and mom's like, "No, it's not. It's not." And he she's like, be out "He here. comes into our house every Sunday night." I know. It's, and they went over, and they asked him, and he's like, "Yeah." And they sat down with him, her, her brother, mm -hmm. and the mom, eating popcorn, just talking to Walt. And Walt asked her, "What did you want to do when you grow up?" And she and she goes, "I want to work for you." And he goes, "You can." Yeah. And she did. It was pretty cool. That was a very amazing story. It was awesome. Yeah. See, Liz says Mary Poppins ride too. So. Oh, good. It's supposed to be a full-on lay in the back of the UK pavilion. I think that's a that's going to be. <clears> they really have cool. to do a step in time. Really cool. I think Epcot could use some more rides. Yeah, Epcot originally was supposed to be every land had a ride. Yeah. Because Japan was going to put a roller coaster back in there. So I don't know if they can. Some of them I can do stuff. I heard there was a Beauty the, uh, and the Beast ride coming. <coughs> <too. coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if they can do it all with the uh, Skyliner behind them now. Right. If that, if that cut off some right. of the area. Yeah. The story was pretty amazing. Gave mm -hmm. you goosebumps when you heard it. Like, how cool would it be to just be walking through the park and there's Walt Disney sitting on the bench, like by pirates? Just and you sit down and you just have a conversation with them. Yeah, I mean, that'd be pretty cool. That's pretty amazing. That's what that's what I took from <laughs> twenty twenty three when we went to that one panel. Is all the stories that they were telling. Yeah, they had all the Disney legends that actually got to meet. That had met Walt, and they were telling stories about meeting Walt, and yeah, and a uh, thing that they didn't know at the time that he was doing, he was giving different Imagineers the same ideas and seeing who came up with the best one instead of just saying, "I'm going to go with one." It was like a contest, and at the time they didn't know they were all competing, and it and they we went to the Haunted Mansion 50th. And they read the original script for the Haunted Mansion. Yeah. They, uh, Exitensios, who came up with the Haunted, uh, Haunted Mansion, his granddaughter was one of the readers. And they had Sally Stilwell, the tightrope girl, and Uncle Deadly, the Muppet, reading it. And it was, that was the best part of the whole thing. Probably the way Uncle Deadly was reading how the original script for the Haunted Mansion was. It was pretty was. cool. It was so cool. I think we tried to get it, but they were, <clears throat> we tried to film. I don't know how some of these other people filmed unless they were media or they hid their cameras because when we were in Haunted Mansion, she was just sitting there like this one time. The guy came over and said, you can't have your phone. You can't film. And she's like, I'm just holding my phone. It wasn't, I wasn't actually doing anything. At the then time. the lady next to you started getting into it. And then he told her to basically shut up. Be quiet. <laughs> so I did, uh, I don't know how it came out because I turned my, turned the camera on. And then I'd just be like this. Yeah. So, so it might have, you know, I might get some of it, but that's how I, or I went like. Hi, Aaron. Thank you for stopping by. I went by. like this. Well, I think one time I was like this. Yes. If you want to see it, D and Joy. D and Joy. Where did that come from? D and Joy. D and G Joy. or Jim. One of them live streamed the whole Haunted Mansion. D and G Explorers built it. They, live they were upstairs it. and they're like, there was nobody up here. Yeah. But the, the guy was. The security on the floor, you'd see him go like this, and he'd run a, go to, over to an area and tell somebody to stop. Yeah. So I was I was trying to be sneaky. I turn it on and just hold it again like this. And you're trying to – you're like this. Am I getting it? And then you're like, I can see it perfectly, but what's the difference eight inches down? So if it comes out good, I'll add it. If not, I will tag uh, D&G so you can so – or like I told Derek, I'll steal his footage and put it in. We had an amazing experience. Um, all the people that we met. Oh yeah. It just everybody that was stopped and said hello to us. I mean that that right there made our trip as well. It was just it was, my favorite. I would have liked to stop and talk to them. It's just when you hear random, we love your videos, and they just walk right by. Mm -hmm. It's like that time when we walked. We talked to Adam earlier. Adam and Lou and I would go by. We love you, Adam. And he's like, <laughs> it just threw him off when he was talking to somebody. Night, then, he, then he started laughing. Yeah. <clears throat> but we are. Uh, yeah, Bob's breaking the law. What law? Breaking the law, filming. Well, they don't really tell you anything. And the way they heard, there's signs by the front doors that say something about filming and media, and their media can their media can film it and this and that. And it's just weird. Yeah. Weird. I was just, you know, filming it for Instagram. I'm not yeah. doing anything with it. 
we put a lot on Instagram. Hopefully we remembered in time to save a lot of it and put it in the highlights because that's the bad thing about stories. I know we, some of yeah. it we didn't, some of it we did. Yeah. But. So we had a really amazing trip. If you guys have any more questions. It will probably, <clears throat> for you guys who watch our videos, we'll uh, probably get out Mickey's Not So Scary first. Day one, travel day and day one of Disneyland and then day one of D23 and then work the rest of the videos out. But I uh, just to give you an idea, when we normally shoot one of our videos, only <laughs> that stolen menu. Oh, uh, that's this menu. <laughs> she didn't even know we had. I didn't even know. I opened the backpack and I was like, "What is that doing in my backpack?" Oh, I got all the we got all the coasters from there too. And then uh, when Jim was in there, he was, I said something about coasters, and he's like, "Oh yeah," and I picked one off the floor, and he goes, "No, I don't want a floor coaster." <laughs> but yeah, it's Oga's concoctions without alcohol, provisions, and let me tell you. If you're going to Oga's Canteen, just drink. You don't have to eat their food. Unless you like really, unless, unless you like wasabi, peas, and spicy, weird mix of food. They're bad two bites. Yeah. We didn't even finish half of it. Yeah. And then their drinks. Yeah. But yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. You were saying it's about, it's time to go because we're tired. Oh, yeah. We'll get, we'll get the videos out in that order. And uh, what I was saying is... I have a lot to go through because normally when, Hi, we, when we film something, it's about 15 gigabytes. I have 500 to go through. Yeah. Like some days there was 258 clips I got to go through. Yeah. You're going to have some fun with that. Yeah. It's going to, I don't know how quick we'll get them out, but we'll get them out as, as quick as we can. But I'm happy we filmed it. So yeah, we got as much as we could. Yeah, Jeff. Uh, yeah, we'll RV check out we'll try to we'll, we'll try going, to be there, but we're going to yeah. be honest. We're probably going to be asleep. He's going live, and he's going live at nine o'clock. Yeah, he's going and real soon. I think so we're falling asleep now. I know. We just say thank you guys for stopping by. Yeah. Thank you for hanging out on Sunday night yeah. and and checking out our videos. We know there's so many more people to excuse me, so many more vloggers and streamers and everything else online that you even take. Any of your time out of your life to spend it with us is amazing. Mm -hmm. And thank you for all of our mods. And yeah. like we said, if you're a creator or anything, yeah, if you want to put it in there, put it in there, list it. If you're a creator or Instagram or anything, you want to join our Facebook group, it's in the link in any one of our videos. Yeah. You can join that and post it in there too. Just share your stuff. Our Facebook group isn't just for us, it's for everybody. Yeah. It's for the family. Yeah. So and if you think of any more questions about, anything about the trip or anything we can try to help you with just let us know yeah and a few questions for next week's live yeah because we probably won't go live there i might be on i might be on live on wednesday night with uh d and g when we'll probably be talking about d23 so right. i'll post a link of that on our facebook and on twitter mm -hmm. but that's probably wednesday night and we'll be back next sunday besides our vlogs right so everybody have a have a great night and a great week. We're happy to see all you guys again. And thank you for following along on our stories and well wishes on travels and everything. It means a lot to us. Yeah, yeah we love you all. Thank you so much. Don't waste a day. Every day is a great. What? <laughs> what did I just say? Wake up, Ashley. Hold on. Wake up. Are you all right? Do you need, do you need sustenance? <laughs> Every day is a gift. Hold on, hold on. What did I even <laughs> say? Every day is great. <laughs> All right, we need to end it now. Don't waste a day. Every day is a gift. Yay. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.